My entire life, I've always thought the proper way to make mashed potatoes was to peel them, cut them up, boil them, and then mash them with some butter and milk. Supposedly, you don't need to do all those steps. What we did prior to this point is washed the potatoes with the skin on and put them in the pot and boiled them for a long time. You'll see that the skin is actually starting to come off. I'm opening this real slow because I don't want the lens to get fogged up. So supposedly I can just strain the water out of this and dump a little butter and a little bit of milk and some salt and pepper and they will be good to go. So I've got my colander. I'm going to take this over to the sink and strain it and then I'll be right back over here in front of the camera in just a few seconds. And I'll also, I'll also turn the heat way down so that when I come back over nothing's burning in the bottom of the pan. So I dumped the potatoes into the colander and got the pan back over here now. If you heard me pause when I was dumping that in, it was because some of the skin was falling completely off the potatoes. So I grabbed that skin and, and tossed it in a separate spot. But otherwise, these potatoes are going right back in the way they came out. I hope this isn't too much of a splash. I think I should probably just Toss them in. Ooh, hot potato. Hmm. That worked. Okay, potatoes in, and here comes some butter. We don't put too much butter in at this point because we figure people can season it to their liking. I mean, those are some baked potatoes and that's not much butter. I already poured some milk in and some pepper. A little bit of salt. And then time for the mashing. I think if I see any big flakes of skin I will pull that out, but otherwise I'm just mashing it up. A lot of you are probably thinking this is obvious because you've seen red potatoes made this way. I've seen red potatoes made this way as well. These Idaho russet potatoes, I always thought that the skin was too tough to do this. So I'm, I'm actually really shocked at how easy this was. Obviously, if you're keeping the skin in, you have to scrub the potatoes really, really well beforehand to get all that dirt off, which really is as much work as peeling them, because peeling potatoes isn't that big of a deal, but uh, this does provide an alternative for you if you don't like peeling and don't mind washing. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the skins in there. So obviously, different people have different opinions as to how much butter and how much milk and how much salt and how much pepper should go in there but otherwise I do believe that that is probably the simplest mashed potato recipe that you will find anywhere. I hope you found this video useful. I made it because I was looking around for a demonstration of somebody mashing the potatoes with the skin on and all the ones I could find there were some great videos but none of them provided the angle that I was looking for to see into the pot as the process occurs. So that's what you have. I'm gonna turn the light and the fan back on. I probably should have left that light on the whole time. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving.